Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm currently working on trying to get filled here on a live right at the money hourly binary trade here on dollar yen. So I'm trying to go short this blue line at 110.10. I got the working order to sell right there for 50. And so what I want to do is I want to take you through the full anatomy of this trade and using the four step trading process. This is how you should be recording yourself. So when you record yourself using this process uh, and then post it in the Facebook group, uh, make sure you got to be a member and then I'll, I'll take the time and watch it and uh, give you feedback. So first things first, you can see, you can go ahead and print this out or, or start to take a picture of it on your screen and uh, save this. But the this is very, this is just a guideline just to kind of help you start generating some trade ideas. There's no like rules here. This is just a general guideline to, to find some very simple trades. So step one, you always start on the bird's eye view, which is a four hour or a one hour chart. And uh, first, we're just simply looking for content, which is overbought, oversold. We're going to use some free indicators because all the market does is cycle. And so I have found the most success being a contrarian, meaning I sell because uh, all, the, all the market does a cycle. So I sell into strength and then I buy into weakness because all the market does a cycle. And so first thing we're going to go. We are going to jump here to the four hour chart and very simply, we're just using some free indicators here. Are we overbought or are we oversold? It's very, very obvious what we are, right? Clearly see how massively overbought our Fisher Transformer is. Then you can clearly see how overbought this is. So knowing that all the market does is cycle down, cycle up, cycle down, cycle up, cycle down, cycle up, cycle down, cycle up, cycle down, cycle up. What's the next logical progression on this chart? It would be to look for the cycle back down, right? And 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 we're, we're day trading here. And so we don't need a huge cycle. We're just looking for about uh, roughly 10 points. I'm going to be looking to go back to about 110.10 and I'll TP, right? So I am in, what I'm basically what I'm saying here is I believe that we're, we're because of how relative to past price, because of how overbought we are, I believe that the strength to the upside is going to um, dissipate and I'm going to get a little bit of a, and I'm looking kind of, and this is kind of carrot trade time. It's market just opened 20 minutes ago. I'm sure I just got filled here. So let's look at that. So now that I got filled, I just let this trade, I have over an hour to start move, moving to the downside. I let this trade play out here. And so that's the first thing. So I know that we're crazy overbought. We're above the plus one. Actually, sorry, we'll get to that context here and the plus one here in just a second. But I know that we're overbought. I want to be looking for weakness uh, to the downside. So what's the next step? Uh, is there proven bird's eye view supply and demand, right? So what is, what's the context? So this is probably the most important step as far as what is telling me on this chart that I feel like I have an edge that the chart is going to show some weakness, right? So this is, this is we're looking for anything possible that gives us an edge, such as, such as uh, in this case, we're selling. So we need, is there supply to the left? Is there a deviation? And when you're trading futures, is there a value area? And then is there a trend line? Is there a Fibonacci? Is there a magnet? What is it on this chart that we've, because in literal, in literal terms, trading is a 50-50 deal, right? But what is it on the chart that feels like we have a greater than 50-50 chance? So when I look at this, first things first, we always just look to the left. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this trade is that most of the supply is right around that plus 0.5. So we did kind of break above all of that supply as far as when you if you want to look like a lot of that supply is like right on 110 so we kind of overshot 110 and that's that's also a basis of my trade we overshot the 110 and then i'm anticipating it to rally back to 110 big round number right and uh so we don't have like perfect to the tick uh, supply to the left. So the big basis of this trade is just how massively overbought we are. And um, one thing that we can look at here is we can draw the Fibonacci here from the acceleration started from there to there. So guess where we are? We are almost so freaking close into that. And actually, I can move this just a little bit. We're so close to that 61.8, the magic 61.8. So from that sell off, there all the way to the to that sell off going in uh, to the end of the year. So you can see how massive that was. We're so freaking close to the 61.8 where I believe a lot of these bulls are going to be taking profits. And so you can kind of see like you want to that's why I start building that story and building the edge. Why do you want to sell where you're selling? And then the opposite. Why do you want to buy where you're buying? 
These are the first two steps that you got to take you through. Tell the story, right? When you record yourself, tell the exact story uh, on the bird's eye view, right? The four hour chart. What are you seeing that gives you that confidence that price is going to show a little bit of weakness? So now that the first two steps are very, very important, but now we need to start moving to the worm's eye view to, to time our entry. A worm's eye view is either a five or a one minute chart. And on the worm's eye view, uh, it says if we're selling, which we are, we want to be looking for selling in lower highs uh, on change control. And so if we move here into the one minute chart, you can kind of see what I was doing here. And I did get a little bit of a move up, but I noticed how we started to build a little bit of change control here, kind of had a little bit of a sideways action. And then I let that retrace to 110 and then there's my entry. So when I entered, obviously we have this. So when I'm anticipating this is right here, a lot of times you'll see this in the Forex market where you come back up to that. And what this is, is just a lot of volume, a lot of people taking profits. So you kind of get a spike and then we kind of rally back down. I've seen this happen so many freaking times. Okay. So notice that I let the bears kind of show their hand little bit of weakness here. We started going sideways, building that change control retrace. There was my entry. Yes, that sucks. Uh, but my, my, um, my, um, Max loss is built in, so I don't have to freak out when that happens, right? That's why I love Nadex. No need to freak out there. And so you'll notice how if we go back to that, it says move to the worms I view to time change control. So if we look at this chart, you can clearly see uh, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs. And for the first time, the chart started going sideways uh, above that plus one deviation. And then I noticed that the bears shown value saw supply right there, retrace, there's my entry. And then uh, I see this happen a lot uh, in, in the Forex markets. A lot of volume just rushes, a lot of people taking profits there. And then, and then um, I entered as high as I possibly could at a little bit of structure to the left. So notice how I moved to that. And you can see the whole process of how I entered. I knew I put my working order somewhere around here and I just let it retrace and then I got filled. So I know I typically always put my working orders in. And then the most um, the important part piece of this says take profits early, get the green and bank the green. It says taking profits is our edge, especially when we're trading options that have a time component. We want to just get in, get green and take profits. And so when I start looking at this, you'll notice how we have a little bit of support right building right there. Right. So that is one I want to be looking to kind of take my profit somewhere in this 10204 to 101102. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this, move this down a right route there. And then we're going to make that green for money, take profits, and then we'll set an alert at or below. Okay, so now I know, so there's my entry, and I'm gonna be looking to take profits in this zone right here because of some structure. There's also a, t uh, there's also a method you can use, which is a 0.25 deviation move. So a 0.25 deviation move today, you can see a 0.5 deviation. Uh, you just take the difference between that and that is 23 points. So then 23 divided by two, roughly what? 11 and a half. 12 points. And so that's a 0.25 deviation move. We'll just call it 11 points. And so 11 points. So if you enter at 110, you can take profit somewhere about one, uh, one, 109.99 to 110. So that would be a 0.25 deviation. Or you can use structure. So I know that there's a little bit of demand building right there, short-term demand, obviously. And so I just get in at the high, take profits right there. So we'll just go ahead and pause this. My stop loss is built in, so I don't have to stop loss. You can if you want to. I don't have to stop loss. I have over an hour to get the bear moved to the downside, so I'll, I'll just let this play out and um, move this down into about 110.04 to 110.10 or 110.0, and then I'll just take, take profits. So pretty cool. You saw the full process. This is exactly how you need to be recording yourself. You show that bird's eye view. What are you seeing? Overbought, oversold. Uh, Got to make sure that you have structure, supply, deviations. This is where above a plus one deviation. We got a 61.8 uh, 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 Fibonacci zone. 
You can start drawing any other context that's, that you feel like gives you a greater than 50-50. I moved to the worm's eye view, a little bit of sideways action, change control. I sold as high as I possibly could, and then I got my take profit ready to go. So we'll pause this and we'll come back and we'll watch this trade play out. This is happening pretty quick. Uh, we just made it down into the 110 and I put my working order and just got filled. So you just saw that live. Let's go back to the chart here. So you can see how uh, I just entered as high as I possibly. This happened really, really fast. And so my goal is just to kind of come back to this and then I just take profits. You saw I got out at 26. So you can see how fast you can profit on these moves. If you, and so if you wait and and so and and honestly in my opinion this trade was a freaking just bomb trade because i entered as high as i possibly could which gave me lots of opportunity uh to take profits at the lows notice that i waited for change control i sell at change control high so that i have enough room to profit to the downside and uh just really quick you'll notice how step four take prof bank the green now i'm on to the next trade i got other um, alert set. I'm going to be ready to go here possibly uh, on slash and Q. I got an alert set on that if I can get it up in the plus 0.5. So now I'm on to the next trade. Like it's that fast. Bird's eye view, content, context. Worm's eye view, content, context. Stay at the money. Get a move down, either 0.25 deviation or structure. Take your green. Now let's move on to the next trade. There's no need to stop loss. Like I said, I've seen this happen so many freaking times in the Forex markets where this is pretty much what this is, is a lot of people taking profits. And then all of a sudden you just get that move down. Take your green. Either use a 0.25 deviation move or use structure uh, to, for your TP targets. Don't be trading five minute binary bull crap. Notice that I gave myself plenty of time. You'll notice how I had my working order set. Could I hold for more? Absolutely. But that's not, I'm not here, I'm not here to sit here and babysit this. Like you get into trading so you can make some money in the morning and then go what, do whatever you want to do with your family or other business, job, whatever. Find content and context on the bird's eye view, worm's eye view, at the money, at change control high, take profits at change control low. And uh, there's no need to stop loss. If you, uh, Always pick the binary that has your max loss built in so you don't need to freak out. And um, one last note is exactly how you need to be recording yourself. Notice how I took you through the entire bird's eye view, why I felt like I was gonna see a little bit of weakness here because of everything that I saw uh, on the bird's eye view. You can see this is likely gonna go back to that 110. We overshot 110, and what did I say? We Look, there we are, we're back. We overshot the 110, big round number, and then I feel, felt like we were gonna come back. So I get in, I take profits as fast, I'm like a, you need to be a take profit junkie. Message me or Ryan Smith if you have any questions, post your recordings, and I will help you.